Hey everyone, it's Tim with Collect Jurassic, and we're here today with something very cool and very unique, hence sort of the original setup I'm doing today that's a little bit different with the vintage Jurassic Park collection back there on the shelf. We also have some awesome classic vintage Jurassic Park toys in that classic Kenner packaging here on the table. And why is that? Well, we're not looking at toys today, but we're looking at something that's definitely related, and that is the brand new Reebok and Jurassic Park collab. Huge thanks to Reebok and Universal for letting me take a look at one of these uh, p these pairs of shoes early and share them with the channel. I also have some other cool stuff I'm going to show off from that line, but I mean, look at this box. Look at it. It is just, it blew me away the first time I saw it. I couldn't believe my eyes. Uh, it's literally a one-to-one -one sort of recreation of uh, the, the Kenner toys, and we can do some really, um, really sort of uh, detailed one-to-one -one comparisons of stuff all over this packaging. And of course, the shoe itself is totally cool too. Um, lots of little details there that I'm going to pull out once we get the pair out of the box. But let's stop and talk about this packaging. I mean, it is like literally everything classic about the original line. We have the uh, the sunset and back. Um, we have the illustrated sort of element with the dinosaurs here being sort of painterly, very similar to the raptors on the Bush Devil Tracker. Um, this is the Zig Devil Kinetica, I hope I'm saying that right, Zig Devil Kinetica, um, and it's supposed to be the Bush Devil Tracker sort of, um, you know, look-alike for this collaboration. But look at all the little details already. We have the, uh, you know, the the call to action, uh, action features on the Jurassic Park with the yellow font. Same thing here, uh, with stabilizing shell, float ride fuel, and Zig energy bands. I mean, I love how they did those little call-outs one-to-one. Of course, we have the logo on the box for Kenner. We, we have the, uh, you know, ages four and up. Whereas on this box, we have ages three and up, or sorry, sizes three and a half and up in the same sort of format on top. Um, and, and, and that's just the beginning of, of all the little details on this box. Uh, I like the dinosaur not included too. Um, I think that actually has, it's on this box too. It says dinosaurs sold separately, but let's go ahead and look at the back of the box. Of course, the side has the little, um, you know, the, the, the shoe again with those action features. This part of the box actually really mimics the Kenner dinosaurs uh, pretty much one-to-one, -one, again, with like the name of the product and the yellow callouts. Um, some poses may require hand support on the Kenner box. Some poses may cause others to require support. I love that. That's, that's just awesome. I got that little shoe size here. I mean, Reebok just totally, totally nailed this. Um, and then we also have on the back uh, this diorama shot. I mean, this is incredible. It's just like the Kenner photography on the old toys. I mean, it's just like this Bush Devil Tracker. You have the sand, you have the like little fake greenery in back. Um, it's just so awesome. And, and then look at this, look at this. Uh, down here, this is the Kenner box. We have the proof of purchase with the blue barcode, the JP mark, this little, um, quality kind of call out and then the Kenner logo. And what do we have on the Reebok box? The literally the exact same thing. Um, the Reebok logo in Kenner style, the Jurassic Park symbol. Um, it's a little different. You can see it actually has Reebok in the circle versus this one that has that classic T-Rex, but you can see just how much detail went into this packaging design. I mean, this isn't even getting to the shoe itself. And you can already see just, you know, how much homework they did to get this right to the vintage packaging. And there's also some little windowed features. It's very similar to this box where they have little window callouts. Um, and I guess, yeah, the top of the box too. We got to look at everything because, I mean, it, it literally deserves... It literally deserves its, uh, you know, its recognition. Um, very, very similar to the... Um, the vintage stuff again on that but uh let's open the box up because it's still it gets better I, I know it doesn't seem possible but but it actually gets better if you open this up it has the windowed opening literally just like these old dinosaur boxes i mean look at this one to one palm tree die cut jurassic park logo palm tree die cut jurassic park logo product title product title the little die cut palms it's all here and then the other little detail i have to notice is this uh realistic dinosaur skin limited edition movie collector card official jp mark and then of course we have on the reebok shoe box we have all that same stuff except it says realistic dinosaur sock liners 
uh, limited edition movie collector sneaker inside. Uh, I, I love it. I also like how they use the quote marks. I mean, you can see here with deadly slashing jaws, and this has with float ride fuel action. So they just used all of that, um, all of that design language, I guess you'd call it, on those vintage boxes, just on the packaging. I mean, just so cool. I'm, I'm blown away by this box. But let's go ahead and look at the shoes inside, right? I mean, I'm sure that's what a lot of people here are here to see. So we'll go ahead and open those up. I actually haven't even gotten them out of the box yet. So um, let me make sure that none of my vintage toys fall off the table here while I get one of these shoes out. There's one. There's another one. I'm gonna go ahead and carefully put this box back. There it is, there's, there's the box. And then we have the shoes here. Looks like there's some tissue paper inside. Let's go ahead and get all that out so we can really get a, you know, an accurate look at these. I'm already seeing all the details on these and, and getting excited. Um, it makes sense if the box looks that good. Of course, the, uh, of course the shoes are gonna look good. So um, let's go ahead and talk about, I, I actually the left and the right one have some notable, noticeable differences I can see already, um, but they obviously have that classic uh, Jurassic Park Jeep paint scheme. You got red stripes, not one, but two red stripes. If you're watching Mattel, two red stripes are on the Jeep, not one. Even the shoes did it right. Um, so you got the gray, you got the red stripe. You also have the JP mark, which is awesome right here. Uh, oh, look, it's JP and number 10 um, that denotes, uh, I don't know, is, is 10 one of the Jeeps in the movie? I, I have to assume it is. I, I don't know that kind of stuff off the top of my head. I swear I'm a Jurassic Park fan, but I just, I don't, uh, I don't commit that kind of stuff to memory usually. But uh, some other little edits are, are, sorry, details I see are like the 1000 volts on the tongue here. Um, it's got the little no hand shocking mark. And then of course the actual sign itself. And this side actually has a rear view mirror on it. And if you can see that it says objects in the mirror are closer than they appear. The exact same block type that they put in the rear view mirror of the Jeep. Um, so it matches that. Oh, cool. Look at this. I didn't even notice this inside the shoe. If you can see, uh, it's the uh, it's like the T Rex mouth opening in the rearview mirror back there. Sorry, it's kind of hard to see because um, it's so dark in the shoe. Maybe there's a way I can push this. Yeah, there we go. So I don't know if you can see that. Yeah, that's a better view. You can see the mouth in there on this shoe. Oh, it's not the mouth. It's something else. It's like a looks like a comic book sound effect kind of like word thing that's going like. Mm. Oh, I think it's like the the Jeep like like taking off here, yeah. Okay, so look at this. On the soles of the shoe, you can see mud splatter on purpose. It's very subtle, but they added that mud splatter too because you know, when the Jeep's running away from the T-Rex, it's going through the mud. So they, they added that detail. It's perfectly flecked on too. It's not like it's sort of, you know, it's, it's uniform, I guess is the right word for it. So it's all there. I love this netting on here too. I mean, this shoe, if it was not Jurassic Park, is, is actually really cool just for a shoe. I would wear this even if it wasn't Jurassic Park because it just has a really nice silhouette, really nice colors. It's not too flashy. I love this like notched edge here too. You got the Reebok logo, of course. But you know, it doesn't have any like really overt Jurassic Park logo too. So again, it's just sort of like a classier looking shoe. I did notice these straps back here are yellow and red. I'm trying to think if that calls back to anything about the vehicles, but I don't think it is. And then they have, uh, you know, there's these shoelaces too that really complement the, the this color scheme of the Jeep really well. And this is sort of like a, a bluish interior too. Um, sort of like the probably the, the seats on the Jeep. I, I don't know if that's sort of uh, the same tone or what, but um, awesome looking shoes, honestly. Uh, and, and they really do go, you know, it's just like the cherry on top for what's an awesome package, um, obviously, um, you know, with the, with the vintage look of, with the whole art style is just incredible. Um, 
And you know, this is this is just one pair of shoes. They're coming out with a bunch more. They have uh, they have a really cool backstory around these shoes too, um, which you got to check out. Like Reebok and Engine like got together to to sort of like splice DNA and create shoes. It's a really fun fun kind of cool backstory for this collaboration. But these are just the shoes that are based on the Jeep. They also have them based on the Explorer Tour vehicle, uh, Nedry, Grant, Malcolm, Mr. DNA, Dilophosaurus. I mean, they literally took every iconic thing uh, from the film and based a shoe off of it. So this is just the Jeep. And uh, if you're interested in seeing those other shoes, you got to check them out. I'll definitely link their, uh, you know, the, the announcement and all the good details in the caption. But um, I mean, this pair alone is so cool. I can't wait to check out the others and probably pick up a few more because, I mean, the, all the packaging looks this good. Uh, I, I cannot deny that. I mean, this is just, for as a collector, you know, and someone who likes to display things, um, when they go up above and beyond and do something really cool with the packaging, I love that. And uh, for everyone wondering if, you know, what the shoe sizes are, uh, th these, these do come in family sizes. I know there's some styles that are available in infant, uh, other styles are available in child um, and then of course you have adult too and they also have some apparel coming out they did send me a sample of that i'm going to try to get it on camera something that i uh i picked because it just looks so cool but they have a whole line of apparel coming out uh hoodies and t-shirts um and it's all really cool stuff i mean we we're never you know we're never at at looking for more jurassic apparel from these brands, but uh, they just keep coming out with cooler and cooler stuff, and it's like we can't contain ourselves. Um, and this is what I got um, from the Reebok collaboration. Let me see if I can pull it back here for a second. It's this awesome vest, an ACU vest. It's even got the ACU branding on it. Uh, Reebok, it has uh, Isla Nublar um, coordinates on the pocket. Also has this really cool JP93 uh, call sign, but it's just like a really light vest. It looks like the vest that the AC would wear has uh, some numbers on the back. CR1017. I'm guessing that's some sort of inside Reebok thing that I don't understand, but this vest itself is just really, really cool. Again, it's like kind of like a like an outdoor vest, but with that Jurassic Park branding. The ACU logo is really what makes it, you know, it's really what makes it, I guess, Jurassic World. This isn't really Jurassic Park, but still very cool. Um, and there's a bunch of other apparel too. There's a really cool hoodie uh, with a really nice jungle print on it too that I definitely want to get my hands on. But um, yeah, I mean, I think I think what the, the magic in this set is definitely just how close it matches all of this awesome Kenner packaging. Um, and I think they just did a phenomenal job. They knocked that out of the park. If, uh, we see a lot of different Jurassic collabs, but there's some real love that went into this. If you just look at this packaging, um, you can just see um, just how much how much attention to detail went into it to make it sort of call back to that, that those vintage design elements of Jurassic Park. So very well done. Um, I think that's all I got now. Again, huge thanks to Reebok and Universal for sending these out. Um, I, I'm, I'm just totally blown away by them. Um, again, just top-notch design all of it just syncs to the film perfectly so very nice job but i think that's all i got again i'm tim with collect jurassic and i'll see you next time